Join Me on the Bridge began as an idea to bring together women survivors of war on a small bridge that connects two neighboring African nations. The idea came in Rwanda and Congo, and women have been majorly victimized in each of the country's wars. It is time for women to speak loud and clear that enough is enough. Before dawn, a thousand women had arrived at the Women for Women International headquarters in Kigali, Rwanda, to begin the four-hour journey to the Rwanda-Congo border. All of these women are survivors of the 1994 genocide that left 800,000 dead, two million displaced, and half a million women raped and tortured. Every woman had a story to tell. Responsible Singing their own songs of hope, hundreds of women from the Democratic Republic of Congo were also making their way to the bridge. They had traveled for hours, some even days, to join their Rwandan sisters. Among those who made the long journey was Honorata. Honorata was enslaved as a sex slave for a year and two months. In 2008, Honorata courageously told her story to the world. The Congo is known as the most dangerous place in the world to be a woman. Women, they live on fear because anytime, anyhow, something can happen to their daughters, to themselves. Sexual violence is used as a weapon of war. Five million people have been killed and hundreds of thousands of women raped and mutilated in a conflict that has lasted more than a decade. What the women are talking about what the women are longing about, they are longing about peace. Because with peace and opportunities, they can achieve better things. On the other side of the bridge, the Rwandan women proudly marched the final mile to their destination. We want a sustainable peace for every woman, for every man. We want peace in Kosovo, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Bosnia, Herzegovina. That's why we are here, we are telling the world that please everybody rise so that we may have this peace. For 17 years, Women for Women International has been building bridges of peace one woman at a time. The sponsorship program is about building a bridge between an American woman or a woman from any part of the world with a women survivor of war. Through providing rights awareness and vocational and business skills, plus access to resources, Women for Women International has helped more than 270,000 women stand on their own feet. 
As the Rwandan and Congolese women came together, they each carried one half of a large banner. We are women for women, and we are women from Congo. We are demanding the stop of all rapes. No rap in Congo, no rap in Rwanda, and elsewhere in the world. We need an environment where we can succeed together. We have started something which is in the dreams of all women. It started up by only Rwanda and Congo and it ended up being a call for all women. This is the call for action and everyone came. And we've got women on a hundred bridges around the world today, which is a wonderful feeling to know that we're all doing this together. In Kosovo, in Bosnia, in Nigeria, in Congo, in Rwanda. I've just been walking on the bridge. It's been very inspiring. And what I'd like to say is, join me, join us, join. Women for Women International, fantastic. I hope that this call for action becomes louder and louder and that next year we mean all bridges in the world. Women are here. We have things to say. We have actions to contribute to make this world a better place.